Right, I'm here at Todd's. It's very early in the morning. I've only just opened. Is there? That's their used stock over there. And they've got some new vans over here. Water trails. New lines. But really, what I've come here to see is this van here. So this is a Malibu i500 QB, that's queen bed, 2019, it's brand new, 150 brake horsepower, it's 4.4 tonnes, we think it's got a payload, a, a payload of about 1100, so it's pretty, pretty big payload. And it's got an absolutely massive garage. This garage is so big I could almost well could climb in it. It's fantastic. And you can fit a couple of motorbikes in here quite easily. Got vent there for the heating, keep it nice and warm so your motorbikes don't get cold. Looks like hanging rails up there. Anchor points in here in there. there. Toilet locker here. The toilet, standard sort of Fetford cassette. And you've got a locker, skirt locker here. So you can put all your aqua roll and hoses and stuff in there. Slide out fuel step. Habitation door. Another locker here. Quite a useful one as well. Sorry about the hoover. Seven nine five hundred. Before you ask, the um, front door is out here. It's on the near side, like most Continental vans. Speaker in the door. We'll have a look inside properly in a minute. Another big locker here. There's plenty of storage here. Space for two big gas bottles, I think, there. This really is a handsome looking van. Let's have a look inside. coach type mirrors here yeah. so they don't stick out too much a couple of steps up so that one that one is quite a shallow step there you've got all your door light switches there nice grab handle and a fly screen Rumour heating, there's your control panel, I haven't really looked at that yet. Another trimmer thing, and got dr drop down bed at the front. Kindly provided me with a coffee, but this table swivels I think, so there's a little, probably ought not to do that with my coffee on there. Very nice ergonomic seats. Let's have a sit in them. Yeah, gives you an idea of the lounge. 
So you've got an L-shaped lounge with travel seats here. Obviously seat belts on it. There's a little seat to my side here. And you've got the telly just here. I think that pops out. Pushing it down. That's it. So it pops out. Goes out of the way. That's quite nice. I think you just pull it out. So that's it. Yeah, very good. Nice and neat that is. Let's have a look at the kitchen. Give you more workspace here by this little table here. I think, well that's clever. It goes in there as well. So you can put it up there. A bit of extra workspace. Sink, tap. You see, that, uh, that's interesting. That lifts up on its own, so if you're just doing a quick cupper, you could just use that burner, I suppose. That one lifts out that way. Well, that's quite different. There's no oven in here, I assume, if you ask nicely. But there are some big drawers. Really deep looking drawer. There's your cutlery drawer. Notice your gas controls are in there as well. Well, these are substantially long drawers as well. An even bigger one here. Deep, deep drawer. Cupboard here. Lots of storage in here. We've got bottle racks there. Little shelves up there. I recognise that fridge. Dometic fridge. Freezer. And you've got a combi oven up here. So there is an oven. That's good. And it's a hello. Sorry. Right. Moving into the bathroom. Lots of mirrors in here. It's well lit. Very well lit. Lots of workspace there as well. A nice sink. And you've got surface here, cup holders, toilet obviously, flushes down there. Well that's handy, you've got a little clothes bin there, dirty clothes bin, very clever. Toilet roll holder. This is a towel rail up there. Don't see any hanging space, but might be on the other side. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there is. So this is a walk-in shower. Right, so if you want to use the shower, it's got a wooden duck board at the bottom. You just need to remove that. We've got twin drain holes there. And this goes round and closes off that way. So you closed off there. And just folds around there. And be shower. So you've got some space for your toiletries. Got a shower hose which is not in here at the moment that goes on the rising rail we've got somewhere to hang some wet clothes which is always a good idea fly screen if you need it and obviously a vent there as well okay very nice see the thickness of the wood there that is good
but when that's on there, when that duck board's there, it gives you a bit more space to get round here. So there's a couple of steps into the bed. One, two, and you're in. Well, actually, just use one. It gets you in the bed. So what have you got? USB point over there next to the light. Reading light. You've actually got a little locker there. That's really nice. Put your books and things in there, or your phone. Only one USB point, but hey, who's criticising? Little lockers above the bed. Look, yeah, it's enough for undies and things. But you've got a big, deep, deep, deep locker here. The hanging space there. That's plenty good. Yeah. Neck curtains. Do seem to get these on a lot of um, Continental vans. I think the, the yeah those are look like they're just decorative curtains, but you've got blinds behind it. So you've got a fly screen blind and a full blind there. So yeah, that's very good. Not sure how long the bed is. I'll perhaps try and find that out a little bit later. But it's, it is a good size. It's a big width there. It does look nice and big. Nice headboards. Little mirror over there. A vanity mirror. Yeah, very nice this is. Nice place to have a bit of coffee. More cushions. Certainly wouldn't you certainly wouldn't lack for storage in this van. Turn it the other way. Another big drawer there. I think there's storage at the side as well. Yeah. Look at that. Well if you need a van that's got a lot of storage, I don't think this would cause you any problems at all. Everywhere you look there's some extra lockers. Another one that side, a dab radio, usual sort of, oh it's actually, because it's a Continental Fiat it's got the locker at the front, some people like the locker at the front rather than the cup holders, quite a nice deep locker, I know we used to have one like that, usual sort of things on the Fiat, you've got your panel that lifts up for putting your maps on. Six-speed gearbox, manual gearbox, and your reversing cameras over there in the corner. Very neat. Cup holders either side. But you've got a massive, massive window, and that's a big advantage of the A-Class, is that you get this huge panoramic sort of view out of your motorhome. Big mirrors, the side gives you great visibility. Cup holders down here. Not short of cup holders. Let's have a look in the driving position. So what does it look like driving? Like I say, yeah, really good view. More lights up here. Yeah. So this is a pioneer unit. A smartphone navigation. So presumably you can connect it to your smartphone and use the navigation on there. Okay. <laughs> Keep finding lockers. This is a locker opener's delight this van. Like you've got uh, controls for the reversing camera and other things down there. Right, blinds. Look. blinds. Ah, well, that closes off that side nice and easily.
Never easy to do this one-handed. Yeah, they sort of they sort of push in like that, but it. Wow. Look at that. That comes down like that. Yeah. So it really cuts off the, the outside of the van. Very nice. Again, I'm going to have to put the camera down. Now these seats are really comfy. They've got, obviously, armrests both sides. The seat belt is built into the seat, as you can see. And it is supremely comfortable. Mm. Liking this more and more. Uh, overall length is 7.48 and width is 2.27 so it's not that wide that's with the mirrors folded and its height is 9 foot 8 or 2.94 meters it's quite tall yeah but it does give you an awful lot of room you're going to put the awning out for us that's all part of the package presumably the awning isn't it so, yeah That's a big awning as well, isn't it? So that must that's almost the full length of the caravan part. So you're looking at about four and a half metres. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Brilliant. <laughs> that comes out an awful long way, doesn't it? Just You've got a privacy room in here. Got one of those. Of yeah, you put a privacy room in here. You've tr doubled, trebled your space here. Wow. Yeah, it's one big awning. Yeah. All right. I wonder if there's anything I've missed. All right. So you've got <laughs> when you just when you thought you'd run out of space, you've got the underfloor locker as well. So look at that. Wow, it's huge. That's why it's. I suppose that's why it's nine foot eight, isn't it? Because you've got. You're fairly well off the ground there, and you've got that yeah, underfloor in the middle. In the middle. I'm sure it's under these. There might be um, might be battery or something. Might be I guess. Your water tanks or something. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you could put your hiking boots in there, couldn't you? There's another one behind me as well, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's your, that's your water tank, tank, isn't it? So, so that's inboard, isn't it? So you're fully winterised here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your two tanks, and it waste and fresh, I guess. Yeah, will be. Yeah, yeah. So no worries about get frozen in the Alps. Yeah, it's a very nice motor. Very impressed. You just get the bed down. I think that'll be a... All right. So you fold the seats down. So, back a bit out of the way, and it, it's not is a non-electric operation, which I always think is a good idea. It's all less to go wrong. There we go. And oh, that's a fantastic bed, isn't it? Again, that's a six-foot lease, isn't it? And it's I think it's even wider than that. I think a couple of sh shorter people could live sleep the other way that way, couldn't they? Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice little handy shelf as well. Little, yeah, a little shelf above you, and you've got lights as well, your glasses and your phone. Yeah. Always like opening lockers, but yeah. And they feel solid as well, these lockers. Yeah, nice strong catches on the engine. Yeah. And that's putting it up. It's quite looks quite light, it doesn't. So. That's it, there's a click, isn't there, there when you know I've got it in place. 
and you've got your sunroof here as well. So that's it for now from Todd's Motorhomes. Uh, if you're interested in coming and have a look at these vans, Todd's are in Coot Lane, Lostock Hall, Preston, and they'll be more than happy to show you around their Malibu range and any other vans that you might be interested in here. They have got a terrific selection. We often come here just really to have a look around, see what there is. So that's it for now. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you soon.